Teachers of Reddit, have you ever had a student try to seduce you? What happened? Story one. I was regularly subbing in a pre-K classroom a while back. We were lining up after recess one day when a tiny round boy from the class popped up beside me and slid his hand into mine. I looked down and said, Hi, Felix. He looked up into my eyes and said so sweetly, Miss Taco Nectonic, when I give you a ring and we get married, me and you and mommy and daddy will live together in McDonald's. Story two. I teach high school kids. I'm young compared to most other teachers at my school. I get loads of cheeky comments and questions. The best one was, Miss, I can't come to that detention you set for me Wednesday. I can do Friday, though, at my place. Story three. I teach elementary school, so I've never had a student seriously try to seduce me. But I'm a woman in my early 20s, and sometimes a boy in my class will have a crush on me. And it will be hilariously obvious. A fifth grader once wanted to ask me if I had a boyfriend. But he had his friend do it instead because he was too embarrassed. Story four. At my father's high school graduation, the entire class knew of one student who had a crush on a female teacher. She had skipped a few grades and became a teacher early, so she was about six years older than him. At the graduation ceremony, the teachers were all lined up to shake each student's hand. This particular student went across shaking hands, then planted a hand on each cheek and gave a full mouth kiss to the teacher on whom he'd had a crush. It was considered a joke and everyone laughed as he received a light slap for the prank. Today, the two were married with three children. Story 5. When I was in middle school, my teacher was helping me out with a problem, and she was bending over to get a closer look and standing right beside where I was sitting. I went on to stretch and lean back. It's a move I usually do where I use the back of my chair to crack my back. The teacher smiled and said, I saw what you were doing, and it took me a second to realize what she meant, and I got red all over. Of course she was joking, but I usually have great relationships with the teachers there. Story 6. A girl once took my phone and put it between her breasts. I didn't know how to respond. I was merely an intern. The same girl put cute as her evaluation on my teaching. Awkward. A friend had it worse. A girl went completely crazy over him. She started crying and shitting and explicitly told him she wanted to have sex with him. He tried to calm her down and convince her to stop crying. Didn't work. He had to get the principal involved in the end. Both girls were 15. Story 7. I was a graduate teaching assistant, and I was meeting with an undergraduate student about a poor test grade, which wasn't uncommon as the professor often let students improve test grades. She came in wearing a tracksuit, the kind you might wear to the gym, and not much else that required modesty. The top was unzipped, displaying her impressive breasts, which were clearly meant to be on display. She stated she was willing to do anything to improve her grade. For one brief glorious moment, a multitude of scenarios ran through my mind. After that, one brief glorious moment... I walked her out of my office and into the professor's office without saying a word. I don't know if she was seriously offering what I thought she was or if she just expressed herself poorly and had just come from the gym. I was in my third year of law school and I wasn't going to find out. Story 8. A student left her number on the final exam of a senior level finance course. We went out a few times. She was cool and we are still friends. That was the only one I acted upon. Other than that, I get about one or two lady students per semester who ask me out or try to seduce me. Nowadays, I assign seats and put those types in the back of the class. Story 9. I teach middle school, so I have had a few boys with crushes. One boy would use his lunch money to buy me a cup of coffee and bring it to me. I had to call home, and it was a funny-slash-awkward parent conversation. Another boy would always tell his teachers he had lessons. I'm a music teacher, and came down to see if I needed help. Again, I had to send him back and talk to his parents. The most awkward and uncomfortable one was this boy violin player, Stephen. He would compliment me and say borderline inappropriate things. I talked to guidance, but I was one of the few teachers that could get him to do anything, so they would ask me to try and mentor him. I called home, but there were no parents around, just grandparents who spoke Spanish. Then he started trying to put his arm around me and be uncomfortably close to me. I had to go to the guidance counselor again and get them involved because it was bad. He couldn't switch classes because I'm the only orchestra teacher, and he was actually quite a good player. One day, he comes to lessons and says, Well, I'm a man now, Mrs. Iramasil 919. Come sit next to me and let me show you. Welp, I had to ask him to leave again for guidance meetings because I could never get in touch with any parents. It turned out he went to a party and got blown off by two girls at the same time, and he was bragging about it. Finally, we had a meeting with parents, the principal, and a translator. He was suspended for the rest of the year since I was not the only person he was inappropriate with. Mind you, the kid is in 8th grade, so like 13. Story 10. 
My first year when I was 23, I taught seniors. I always heard talk about how every girl at the high school had a crush on me, especially my actual students. Well, all year long I hear about how so-and-so has a crush on you, and I'm always worried about being approached by one of my students once they start to turn 18. And coincidentally, not being sarcastic, I became single around this time as well. Well, all year long, nothing really occurred other than subtle flirting until prom season reared its head around the corner. During class, one of the more popular and attractive girls raised her hand and asked me randomly, what kind of car do you drive? And I respond, why do you want to know? I usually respond to dumb or irrelevant questions during note-taking because sometimes it may lead to a good example. I talk government and economics. And she responds with, oh, I just wanted to know what kind of car I was going to get picked up for prom in. And I kind of react as if a huge tsunami wave were coming towards me and I'm trying to formulate my plan of attack. Just stand there and take the hit, try to run away, try to dive under and hope I can hold my breath long enough, etc. So after a few seconds of students' laughter, I respond, I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to take a student to prom. And she responds with, well, I'm legal, so it shouldn't be a problem. And that's when the shit really hit the fan. Every single guy in that class had a crush on her, and they started to laugh and holler, dude up, that's what's up, and so forth. I finally tell her, once the class settles down, no, it's not appropriate. But if you really want to go with someone that works here, ask the principal instead. He'll hook it up with free entrance and pick you up in his stretch yellow limo bus. The class busts out laughing and I quickly go back to the lesson. Honestly, that was probably the roughest five to six minutes of my life. I teach sixth grade now, so I'm glad that isn't an issue now. Story 11. I taught a programming lab in college and had kind of a similar encounter. She simply wasn't smart enough to get the projects done without working really hard, and she didn't have the motivation to work hard. She would attempt to flirt and lean over to obviously show her breasts. I don't know if I would say repulsive, but lazy and unintelligent are probably the two most unattractive traits in people as far as I'm concerned, regardless of their actual physical appearance. A combination of the two is a complete deal breaker. Story 12. I was a substitute teacher a few years ago. One night, I went to a party with some friends and ended up making out with a really cute blonde. A few days later, I was subbing for a high school class and who should walk in but a blonde? She had neglected to say that she was still in high school and she certainly didn't look it. So this caught me by surprise. I was hoping nothing would be said, but as soon as the bell rang, her friend to whom she'd been whispering exclaimed, You made out with the teacher? So much for subtlety. To make matters worse, she was smiling and sending me texts throughout the entire class period saying, You look really cute. When are we getting together again? I never saw her again and nothing came of it, but it was about the most uncomfortable hour of my life. Story 13. I had a student buy me a light-up rose and an enormous fake diamond ring for Valentine's Day. He told me I could maybe just wear it or whatever. They're pretty young, so it's innocent. Parents, on the other hand, are not so innocent. I've had a few people make some inappropriate phone calls and remarks. One even grabbed my ass. I had to have co-workers sit in during parent conferences just to be safe. 